I, I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, East Coast, Midwest part of the United States. And um, I moved to Taos, New Mexico, it's northern, this very tiny, happy mountain town, northern New Mexico, uh, to build these houses called Earthships. They're like off-grid sustainable housing structures because I had a general interest in the, that kind of building and construction. And um, I'd never like really camped like long term or like really been out west at, at all, really. I pretty much stayed home, you know, for most of my life, except from vacations. And I just fell in love like with uh, the desert and I had some friends out there that were living um, out of their, you know, Subarus and Toyotas, uh, dirt bagging, as we call it out here. And um, I was like, whoa, that's like really, really cool. Um, I want to do that now. And um, so I had a Subaru Forester. So I like built like a little bed in it and had all my camp gear and all my clothes and everything I needed and lived out of that for like five months in New Mexico and California and just totally fell in love with the lifestyle and kind of like once you get rid of all your everything that you have in a house and you you realize that you don't need any of it really at least for me some people need larger things depending on what you do in life if you're a drummer unfortunately you need a house or a place to play your drums i can't fit a drum set in here you pick the um, instrument yeah yeah <laughs> yeah um but yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, for anyone, you'll like if you once you get rid of everything that you have and you are just down to your bare necessities, you'll quickly realize that you don't really need much more than that. And I, I just found beauty and love the just the simplification of things. Um, I like being able to travel, like you know, whenever I wanted, or if I just wanted to pick up and go, I could. Uh, fortunately, in America, it's very easy to do that out west because there's so much public land and space and stuff like that, and just open land in general and um so i did that for a bit moved back home for a little bit and then built this trailer rig because i wanted you know to build a studio and have a little more space for every everything that i needed i, I wish i didn't need this much space in this big old heavy trailer but th this is like the minimum that i need to do what i do in life and um yeah i love it and there's no no real plans on going back to like a normal normal life quote unquote normal life Th this is normal for me you know <laughs> by now but um no plans on going back to like a standard house or apartment anytime soon no i, I think it's awesome because it's like i'm so i'm currently sat here i've i've um uh, i moved into this flat maybe like six months ago um mm -hmm. and i've been kind of kitting it out with like all the things that i like and and trying to um you know thinking like oh what yeah i'm thinking like what chair do i want it there or what like Right. what things do i want in my kitchen and like it i like it because it becomes a bit of an extension of your personality to some extent yes but equally yes. Yeah. i'm just thinking like i i, I what is funny because um it's always kind of a funny coincidence because um when i kind of I, I was thinking about this i was like how much do i need that chair there though you know like mm -hmm. as much as i want it there it's a bit of an irrelevant i don't know why i picked the chair it's just anything in the flat beyond the musical things i'm doing um mm -hmm. i kind of think like why do I need that? You know, like, is it that I need it or do I want it? You know, I mean, I mean in theory, it doesn't need to be there. I'm not going to sit right. on it probably. I just want it for like right. decoration. And I kind of right. think like it's, it doesn't serve any, it's like, for example, I can see you've got some things up on the wall that look like they uh, sort of um, part of something for you, like uh, what are they call like souvenirs and, and um the souvenirs and, and uh, yeah trinkets and and mementos everything that's in here is i've like just picked up over yeah you know travel travels in life so, yeah. yeah and I, I see the importance of that but like mm -hmm. um i do kind of sometimes think like life would be a lot simpler if i didn't have this phone or or even the laptop and well there's some great things because i wouldn't be able to talk to you without that the laptop exactly. for example. but yeah. um I do think there's a real calling and I think some people maybe don't even know that they need it. Um, a calling for like a simplification in life, like you said. Um, have you found that's affected your kind of how you... Some, so this is a bit of a... I feel like I'm kind of, uh, what do I, derailing this a bit myself, which uh, <laughs> which is not great given I'm the one kind of hosting this. But I found that like my phone and technology and everything, it feels like it's infiltrated my brain a little bit. I look at my... I pick up my phone more than I really would like to um and there are things that i do around the house like i think little things that you just do that you don't need to do and i feel like a lot of things have invaded my 
mental processes you know have you found that they've changed sort of your the way you process things and the way you maybe the way you write music for example has that changed in the time that you've moved away from conventional kind of living um as far as like how like my creative process works and you know my workflow and life flow whatever you want to call it um i <sighs> I, I can't say it's like drastically changed too much because, you know, I, I so, you know, people say, oh, you, oh, you've got you've got the life. You can do whatever you want. You can hang out here. You can go there. You know, if only I could do that or if I, or the, the, I guess my point is people say, oh, if I was there, I could do this. If A, then B. And I don't like that because that implies that your happiness is a destination. Um, and I don't like that. Um, because that means that, oh, I have to go here or buy this or do this so I can live my life. And that doesn't make any sense to me, you know, because happiness and fulfillment in your life is always inside you at the end of the day for everyone. 